Hello everyone, this is Thunderbolt and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own welcome message on your Discord server and it will look something like this. So without further ado, let's get into this. So first of all you're going to have to need Carlbot and you can add him by going onto his website or going onto here and going with Abs Server. So first you'll be directed to this page once you get onto his website, the bot settings. And once you go down to welcome message, you'll be greeted with this. And first, we want to reroute the message to a specific channel, and I'm going to use the welcome message channel, as that is where it's probably most appropriate. Or you could do it in main chat, like I did in my server. And once you've done that, you're going to have to create the actual welcome message, and this is a bit more complicated. So, I'm going to type in for the main message, Welcome! If you want to mention the user, you can just copy and paste this variable and then it will ping them whenever the message is out. So now we're going to go into the complicated stuff. So first we're going to go into Embed Builder. And then you can do all sorts of stuff. So first of all we're going to work on the title and I'm just going to have sort of generic Welcome to, to the Minecraft place. Then once that's done, you can get into the description. So the description will look a bit like this, and there will be channel messages that will redirect you to certain channels such as rules. This can be used for a future tutorial on how to make decent rules for your server. If you want to see that, comment down below, and if you have any other suggestions on what to do, and if I can do it, I'll do it. So to make the description, we're going to have to go back into the embed builder and start writing our description. And another use of variables, I'm going to use the user proper and this will show the user's name and hashtag. And then we're going to do the channel listing. And this will be done here. I'm going to use this dividing dot. I'm going to use, I'm going to put it down in the description like I did last time. Dividing dot and then Make sure to read the rules in rules. And I'm going to list the channel. So, go to user settings, go all the way down to advanced. Then, you simply have to enable developer mode. Once you do that, we're going to have to go to rules. And this is a developer mode exclusive thing. So, make sure to be on developer mode, otherwise, it will not work. So go to copy ID, then go back to the embed builder, then this kind of triangle bracket, hashtag, channel ID, and then close the triangle bracket. Then we'll do that again for the other channels we want to list. And make sure to write down the hashtag, because otherwise this will not work either. And just remember, you can do anything you like with this. This is just a guide on how you can set up a sort of generic but good one. You can change this in any way you like and you can experiment with the variables. Just make sure to test it before you put it out. I personally have a test account that does all this for me. Now, I'm guessing you want to know how to do the GIFs and the icon. So you will not have to look far, because I have the details here. So to get this icon, you have to go and find an image and then copy its image address, like so. Then you'll go to the thumbnail URL, which is just below add field, is on the bottom right, like so. Then to get the GIF, you'll do the image URL, which is big image or GIF at the bottom. You can find any GIF, and for mine, I'm going to do a Minecraft GIF because of the Minecraft themed server. You can find loads of these aesthetic looking Minecraft GIFs, there's loads of them, but I'm going to use this one. Now I'll make sure just to check if everything's looking good. And then, just click save. Make sure to save this, you have to make sure to save this by the way. I've done this mistake before where I've done everything, then closed the tab, and hadn't saved it, and then when I test the welcome message, nothing's there, because you haven't saved it. So make sure to save it. 
And then, once you've done that, if you want to have a colour over here, you don't have to have one, but you can. You can simply just go to Toggle Colour Picker. I'm going to use a just a light green, a light green. That that's good. Actually, I might darken a bit. Yeah, that's good. Then, again, make sure to save. And then, it's done. Now, all we have to do is to test it to see if everything's working correctly. And then, when you look at that, we've been pinged in welcome. And then, ta-da! Everything's working just as planned. So, make sure to follow this tutorial. And you can change anything you want. Your server, your rules. You do what you want to do. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any more suggestions on what I can do for a future YouTube tutorial, please let me know in the comments. And I'll try to do them all, if I know how to do them, of course. So, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!